Yes, sir. Coach, what was your reaction to the film, just looking back on CSU? Uh, you know, I thought uh, we had some opportunities that slipped through our hands early in the game. I was real proud of the guys. We started the game with three and out. Um, played really fast. Still had, uh, you know, really set up the first touchdown. We had a miscommunication. You know, guy got behind us, and then they set up the, you know, double pass, which if we could have – we got the ball back right there. It changes the momentum of the game. But listen, when you're in a rivalry game, guys are going to play good. They made some plays. Uh, there were a couple plays in the game, too, where we had, you know, didn't run the pressure right. Uh, when the tight end caught the touchdown on the little crossing route, the guy comes, he's unblocked. So just things like that that we got to correct. I think the biggest thing, just like um, the, the explosive plays. You gotta eliminate that. And some of those were just caused by missed tackles in the perimeter. Um, some of those balls weren't completed very far, but turned into the bigger game. So we gotta we gotta do a better job. I was proud of our guys for, you know, our number one thing is getting the ball. You know, it's all about the ball. There's nothing more important you can do for your team than get the, you know, get turnovers. So our guys are buying into that and we gotta keep that up. Coach said yesterday that it's going to be a corner by committee with, with Travis out. Right. But with Amarian, with how he's he's been the starter the last couple weeks alongside Travis, with how he's played, does that give you more confidence that you know at least that he'll be able to step up to that number one there, more there, spot? There's no, I mean, no doubt. The more you play, especially in a new system, right? You're playing in the, every game. You play, you get more experience, so things slow down for you a little bit. So absolutely, the experience is uh, is everything. But you know, we got some other guys that, that have ability and they're going to get opportunities. And listen, when a guy goes down, his next man up, you know, it's somebody else's opportunity. And, uh, you know, and I think the guys have prepared this week and they'll continue to prepare. So that that's what we're looking for. We've seen Carter Stoutmire a little bit this season. He didn't play against CSU. Is there a chance he'd get back this weekend for you guys? There, there's a chance he could get back. And I think Carter's done really good. Uh, he was banged up last week. A little bit, so uh, we'll see how it, you know see how he recovers. But I'll tell you what, for for a, a young young player, he he doesn't act like he's young. The the stage wasn't too big for him when he got in there against Nebraska, and you know he did some really good things. So uh, we're we're excited about him for the rest of the year. Did you go against Bo Nix when he was at Auburn when you were I at did. Alabama? I so did what did you times. what did you see from Bo Nix at Auburn, and what do you see from him now? Well, first of all, I've known Bo since he was born. Uh, I basically, uh, I watched him grow up, him, his dad and I, his dad's one of my best friends in the world. We coached at three different schools together. So I watched Bo grow up. I know what kind of competitor he is. Um, he's a really good athlete. He was a good all around athlete. Uh, when we played him at Auburn, uh, when he was there, um, you know, he, he was one of the better athletes on their team. Uh, he, he can continue plays with his feet. You know, he's uh, very, very aware of pressure when he gets it and uh, you know he can get out on the perimeter um, he's very smart um, in fact it looks like to me right I mean he's just I think Dan has done a really good job with him and, uh, he understands what they want to do offensively knows where the pressures are coming from knows what coverages are what sees the safety rotation so uh, he I think they've done a good job of developing him. Did your long-standing relationship give you any kind of advantage or help no, this week? No, no, I mean, listen, they, they're practicing, we're practicing. Uh, like I said, it just, I just know, I just know him personally. I know he's a, he's a great young man. And he's a great competitor, and uh, he loves his game just like our guys do. And uh, you know, it, it, it's going to be a big challenge, but uh, that's why, we, that's why we kick it off. Coach, what makes Shiloh such a dominant player? What, are, what does he see or do in there? I, Shiloh, you know, first of all, he's a very intelligent young man, and uh, he's very competitive. He's uh, his personality, competitiveness is very similar to Bo. I mean, he's a competitive young man, but the thing that separates him is how much he studies and how much he prepares. Um, you know, he. Because he's bought in to what it takes to prepare. And when you do that and you see things and you study, you see it happen in the game. You anticipate it. 
and you know some of the plays he made the other night, he anticipated those plays. And um, you know, on defense, it's always reaction. So anytime you can, you know, have an advantage to where I know I'm fixing to react to this, it gives you an advantage. But I, I think his intelligence and his work ethic is what separates him. Coach, uh, how, how close are Travis J and Jaquez Robinson being able to help you guys? I, you know, I, they've uh, had a lot more reps this week. Um, both of them have been banged up, but uh, you know they've worked good. I'll look at the film today and see, you know, see how they did. It seemed like they practiced, you know, better in that uh, uh, high speed. So hopefully we can we can get those back guys back in there pretty quick. One last question Coach. comes from a thirty thousand from a thirty thousand foot view. Can you kind of just evaluate how your defense has performed over the non conference three games, three different kind of different results? Mixed back. Well, I, I mean. You know, giving up too many yards, uh, and, but I think those yards are attributed to the explosive plays. And I think I don't think we've done a very good job of playing sudden changes in the game when things are going, you know, pretty good. I mean, you can take one series and it looks like, wow, and then something negative happens in the game. You know, don't play quite as good. You got to be able to put the fire out when bad things happen, and that's just part of football. Uh, what I do like. Um, is they play extremely hard and they never lose their composure. And, uh, you know, the other night, even when things started going bad, I mentioned this the first week, it's, sometimes it's like in a basketball game. Somebody gets hot shooting, you got to survive the run and you got to come, you got to make a play to win the game. I've not seen our guys lose composure this year. And that's sometimes when you're coming into a new situation where you got all new guys. Sometimes that's hard. That's a credit to those young men. But we have, if we can eliminate the explosive play and keep creating turnovers, I think we'll see ourselves get better and better. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.